Over the past 24 years, we've ended our transmissions each evening with an epilogue from our studios in Dover. But as this is a very special occasion, tonight the epilogue will be not quite the epilogue. For there's more entertainment to follow. Saying farewell is very difficult. How do you do it? Do you do it like um, Samson, for instance? You know, he was the man who got that girlfriend Delilah, who took him round to have a short back and sides. And when his hair went, so did his strength. And he was taken and bound in chains and tied to pillars. And the Philistines mocked him. And he was made a prayer to God. God answered the prayer. He pushed the pillars and the whole lot crumbled down, killing himself and 3,000 people. Now, that I think is a little bit excessive as a way of saying farewell. And actually, these studios, I wouldn't need to push them. I mean, one blow and they'd collapse. Or you could sort of do it the way like um, Elijah. Now, Elijah was always one for the spectacular. I mean, the prophets of Baal had a very bad time with Elijah. And Jezebel, Jezebel, had, she wasn't an easy woman to get on with either. She threatened his life. He also twice um, destroyed the messengers from the king of Samaria. And then, when he said his farewell, he took with him Elisha, just one viewer, and went up in a whirlwind, supported by chariots of fire with horses of fire. Now, you may think that's going slightly over the top, and I know it couldn't be done here. I mean, the fire hazard would be far too great, and also, we haven't got the facilities. You could possibly be a bit more like Moses. Now, Moses, he'd had a difficult time. I mean, he'd put up with pharaohs, he'd put up with being in the bulrushes, he'd cope with the Red Sea, he'd cope with go golden calves, he'd got the Ten Commandments together, and all he did was see the promised land. He never quite made it. So, for me, it is a matter of saying goodbye. It's goodbye from Dover, and for me to say thank you to the Dover Studios for all the care they take over religious broadcasting, and they've certainly taken more care of me. To say thank you to you for watching Guidelines night after night, and to wish you God bless, a good night, and a very happy new year. <laughs>